So today's project is uh, make a, uh, a battery adapter, power adapter. So I've got this uh, A6300 Sony camera and I've got a monitor here, Feel World 4K monitor. Monitor is cool because I can, well, I can run it off this battery here uh, and then you can also run it off 12 volts. But I've got this dummy battery that goes in here and then this, this uh, you plug into an adapter and I, which is fine if you're in your studio, but if you're out and about, shooting you don't want to keep i just get they don't, these batteries don't last very long so so my plan is to take this dummy battery and open this thing up and put a uh, step down transformer in inside of here uh, that way i can run both of these things off of one of these power banks just using the 12 volts out uh, and you know this a6300 according to the manual you can run it off of uh, USB, but it doesn't work. Uh, I don't know why. In the settings, you have to kind of select USB input. I did that. It still doesn't work with or without the battery. And I've looked around on the forums and I can't figure it out. So you see there's some electronics inside here. Uh, you might be wondering why doesn't it just send the power? I think what it has to do is it kind of has to fool the camera into thinking there's a battery. I think what it does is, the one thing I've noticed when I have this plugged in is the, the battery time, you know, 100%, and it'll go down and down and down, and then it'll jump back up. So I think uh, some of the logic in here is what's kind of pretending to be a battery that's uh, uh, changing its, uh, its, its, its load. So, so in through here comes uh, power from from the, from the plug-in adapter at seven seven and a half volts. These batteries are seven point four volts. So here is the transformer. I get this from a company called Pololu. They make all kinds of different uh, uh, electronic stuff. Uh, this is a step down, and you can actually give it more than twelve volts to get your seven and a half volts. I think you can put in. I think you need twenty four volts. Uh, Positive here and ground here. So I'm just going to wire this directly. Here's my input power. This is where the 12 volt volts come in. I usually like to trim trim these guys. That way they don't accidentally touch each other or another piece of metal touches them. I guess now we can uh, put it back together and uh, test it out. Okay, so <laughs> I totally neglected uh, this screw hole here. I can't use the screw anymore to hold this thing back together because the circuit board's in the way, uh, which is fine. We don't have to use that screw. Actually, before I assemble it, I uh, maybe should check, check whether it works. So it should have 7.5 volts or about 
I got the player reversed. 7.5, awesome. All right, so it's always good to double check your work before you kind of commit by gluing something together. Duh, this, this thing is in the way. Man, why well, I'm spacing out today. Awesome. Alright, so it's glued together. Give this glue a chance to set up. So, now, moment of truth, let's see if I can power the camera and uh, the monitor with my power bank. Okay, this one here, this one here. All right, turn this on. Okay, that works. Let me see if the camera turns on. All right, camera's on. We'll do, I'll do the HDMI. So you guys believe me that it's actually going. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's cool. Uh, lots of wires all over the place, but I only have one battery I've got to worry about now, so I can just kind of shoot and not have to worry about uh, changing batteries. All right, thanks for watching.